Hello, my crafty creative. Crafty chum. What should I call Crafty chums? Crafty ch... Cr I've got it. Hello, my crafty clan. <laughs> Apparently, it's the done YouTube tube thing. You're supposed to have a name for all your followers. Happy Sunday. Um, Let me know what you think of Crafty Clan. Uh, that literally just came to me three and a half seconds ago. Uh, yeah, today's a good day. I hope we're doing another needle felting kit. I'm I'm caught, I know I said catched up, I'm caught up with the maker's kit and we're on this month's kit and I'm excited to try it. This month we are doing the 2D wool painting a needle felted butterfly and I'm excited to do this. I've done 2D paintings before but my method has is always different so I'm really excited to see how this is going to go. I've seen some people in the maker's Facebook group who've already done their butterflies and they look amazing so fingers crossed i have i've opened the box slightly i just quickly dived in to have a look to make sure that i had all the equipment i needed because i was panicking going do i need a special kind of pen do i need to do this do i need do i need an iron because that's how i've done my 2d paintings in the past i have used a sulky iron on transfer pen and traced through some tracing well some baking paper um, traced the image and then ironed it onto my thing and felted from there but I know this one's different because I had a peek um, yeah so I'm excited to get started with this um, yeah everyone let me know um, if you've done this kit if you're gonna do this kit and as ever links are in below in below links are below for the makers box I even if the, if those of you can spot him I don't know if you can actually see it on the screen. I have put last week's phone into my my little felting tower that we seem to be building here. Anyway, I hope everyone had a good week. I see Mum's in the chat already and she's she's happy with the crafty clan. So yeah. Cool. We, <laughs> we randomly have a name for, for us folks. Awesome. Right. I think we are just about ready. What am I looking for? I think we are just about ready to go top down and have a look at what is in this kit. So excited. Right, let's do it. So, as ever, and I, I found a felting mat, so that's that's good. Still can't find the really cool felting mats. Ooh, and the camera's a bit blurry. Come on, duck. There we go. The, as ever, the awesome Maker's Box, and this is showing us what it is. This is number 37, a large painting with wool peacock butterfly kit. Excited, right. I've added my needles to this, just so I remembered to get them. So these these are my needles. Uh, <laughs> I believe your first kit, if you order a kit from the Maker's, your first kit comes with felting needles, but after that you're expected to have them because you got sent them um and it's the maker's birthday three years of maker's boxes awesome and here's the picture and here's what we're getting so the box contains oh lots of colors lich and green black hot pink neon yellow that's a new bat by them awesome um, milk chocolate, new as well. Oh, I have to check that. I'm always looking for good browns. Uh, water blue and red orange. And a printed fabric piece designed by Katie Cambridge. Awesome. Um, yeah, and next next month is coming a Dash Hound trio. That sounds so cool. Oh, hopefully there's enough to make three. It says a trio. Hopefully we can make three and it's not just to pick one. But yeah. Oh, excited. Right, that's that's our instructions. Better keep that. So hope but I think it should be hopefully pretty straightforward. Um Oh here we go. Here's their plans, their YouTube live stream schedule. So the first of June unwrapping the boxes, ninth of Feb felt along pebbles, the twelfth of July is needle felted picnic food. I've seen pictures of that, that looks so cool. Uh, 16th and the 19th, Sew Along Doll's House Baby, 23rd, Stab Along Baby Barn Owl, 25th, Pansy Workshop, and 29th, Mini Tops Butterflies. Tutorial, please turn over. Look at this, we've got a cute free little extra tutorial. Are they not the cutest things? Mini Tops Butterflies. 
which is basically a bit of pipe cleaners, tear off some colourful roving, and twist it into a butterfly. They look so awesome. What a great idea. I love that. Alright. And they have specially coloured um, merino tops. They would make great butterflies. Yay. Cool. So we're into the box with its ever iconic now red tissue paper. And this, when I opened it, this is what I saw earlier. I was so excited. So hopefully... I can't go wrong because this is like a felt by numbers. Isn't that beautiful? Fingers crossed I can do that justice. It is really stunning. Um, and here's the we'll, we'll sniff these in a minute. Uh, what is this? Birth oh, fantastic. Birth Butterfly wildflower seed hearts celebrating their birthday. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, fill a pot with compost and place the seed card on top. Cover, water... Oh, fantastic I'll definitely be doing that oh in fact I will keep everyone updated I'm so excited I've been I've got a load of wildflower seeds that I'm planning to grow but I think hopefully I can manage that right definitely excited about that and we have a butterfly mini kit um so that's what we just saw with the instructions right I will get the box out of the way because it's very noisy but awesome I've actually been in inspired by all of this to up my packaging game because <laughs> I'm embarrassed with how my, my boxes are. So I've got these wonderful fold-up boxes too because it's just so exciting when you open it and everything's nestled in there. So copying you guys. Right, let's have a look in at the mini kit first of all. We won't make this yet. I just want to see what colours I've got. <laughs> It's going to be so pretty. Don't mess up the bats. That is so pretty. Wow. Love it. Yeah, I totally love that. Right, we will have to make a pretty butterfly at some point. Let's put that away. And I've got to sniff the fabric. I just sniff in the fabric. It's what I do best. Oh, it doesn't smell much. <laughs> but it is gorgeous. That'll be the neon pink love that that's a really nice color it would actually do well for making faces and things just doing a tiny bit for shading and stuff it's a really nice although they say neon pink it's a kind of would be nice in lots of flowers and things as well black is black we know it's about black um lime green neon wow that is bright that doesn't that that doesn't show on camera but that is like neony bright that is cool uh orange yeah that's nice it's a ready orange color that's nice a bit of brown i assume that's for his body yep a bit of white and a bit of blue love 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 they are great selection of colors right I'm going to check the check the chat before I find what I've got to do. Oh, I've got one more thing to do before I dive totally into it. But we'll check the chat and then we'll read the instructions. I really hope I can do this justice. It looks so beautiful. Right, let's see. Um, Canvas and Chrome is laughing at a stab along baby bar now. <laughs> Uh, Sophie, hello there. That's Sophie from the Makers. And Steffi's in the house too. <laughs> um, this is Sophie's design, um, just in case you have questions. Awesome. Thank you so much. Right, first thing I will do, I don't... I do have a very old clover multi-needle tool that's like a punch thing. And the Makers do make multi-needle tools, but I didn't notice till... Ow! I opened the kit today and read it, so... Oops! I treated myself a little while ago to a tool and I haven't tried it yet so <coughs> so what better project than this one if I can fit it all together it's got quite stabby needles so it might annoy me but we'll see actually most of the time when I've done any 2d felting I stick with one needle as well because it's more accurate for me to get like shading and blending and all sorts of things in uh, but we'll see what a multi-tool does. It might might help speed things up. It might just... I just did that upside down, didn't I? <laughs> oh boy. Is that what I want? That's what I want. Oh, if I had a brain cell, I'd be smart. 
Right. Now you you stay p oh, so much more fiddly trying to put three in, but hopefully it'll help out. Right? Is that right? <laughs> Please say I've done it right this time. And then you go into oh, super fiddly, but there we go. Right? They fit. And I thought that oh, I thought they might be a bit too stabby, but we'll see how we get on. Right, I might have to break this tool in a little bit. But yeah, three three times the stab, but I've got my regular needles as well. Faith's in the house. Hello there, good to see you. Um, right, yes, so I read out what we've got here and the printed fabric. Need felting needle and a mat. Optional extras are a three needle felting tool. Um or two or a seven needle felting tool and a brush mat um and this is a beginner level yay this sounds good oh i'm excited to get started with this um so yeah painting with wool so they have videos if you haven't done it before they have videos on how to mix the colors and um, which totally anytime i've done the 2d felting that really is what helps bring it to life um, you can take, rather than just this base colour, you can mix it with a little white to get a little bit lighter. You can mix it with a little bit darker. And then you've got a bit bit of dimension to everything. Uh, use fairly thin, thin, sorry, fairly thin layers of wool, just enough to cover the print, letting it faintly show. Um, to illustrate... Oh, to illustrate the direction... Um, with things use a streaky mix i like the sound of that yep i get that um taking it paying attention to the direction of the fibers awesome um what to do overlapping the edges so we can fold them over and tack them down and tiny details with little bits and then f uh, to finish the surface felt all over uh low angle to push things Yep, yep, yep. All super good advice. If you're new to felting, that's really good. Um, okay. Okay, so we've got to take the pink, lay aside a bit of the pink to use on the final details. Mix a little black with some pink to make some darker. So we can blend while I check the chat black and pink does um <laughs> right how much of this do i need use the darker pink mix to fill in the bigger dark pink blocks in the background so we've got there 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 there, there. there's a few bits i'm gonna need so let's let's make some more of this make <laughs> right and that'll probably be enough right let's check the chat some more um, oh, Faith's given the makers a gift. That sounds lovely. Um, <laughs> Sophie, the needles might be too stabby. It's my technical terms. I'm very technical at this. <laughs> right, blendy, blendy. So I want to read. Um, so I'm going to use all the dark bits. Let the wool overlap onto the adjacent area um, rather than leave a gap. Cool. He gets that. And then we're going to need, well, we'll come back to that, but then we're going to need some black and some green. And then, the, oh, this is cool. We're doing it sort of, I think, do we go, ladies, do we go this way? Ooh, or, oh, okay, cool though. Oh, I see, we're seeing each little bit at a time. <laughs> right, I understand. <laughs> Yes, that makes more sense to show the colour that we're doing. Gotcha. Yee. Okay, right. Let's get blending. Um, and Canvas, who, who else has had a dismal June for Etsy sales? My sales have been whizzing up and down like fireworks. Feb was great, March was terrible, April and May was great, June is bad so far. Yeah, um... Mine, well, it's doing better than last year, but I've been slightly less lazy. I'm doing a little tiny bit of an experiment just now, so my 
shop might do well or it might not do well <laughs> um but yeah it's been all over the place and i'm hearing that from everyone i think the 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 inig initial sort of lager lurgy sales the the crazy buying has calmed down and we're getting into more different types of buying i am actually i've just sat down and written a video about that i've done a whole load of research into what are likely to be the coming trends um for as we come out of all of this i i don't i don't have a time machine but to predict the future but there's some kind of trends that I can see happening so hopefully I can help you all with some ideas with that so that'll be coming really soon um, but yeah it's all over the place and I'm hearing that from people some people that were doing well are doing terrible some people that have stayed average and stay in average it's all over the place basically we are in uncharted territory at the moment um, and yeah, it, it kind of sucks a bit. We don't know. We don't know what's going on, and it's it's not it's not the best. But I hope things pick up. Um, oh, Sophie, yeah, left to right and then down. Cool. I I understand it now. <laughs> um, we did it like that. Either, otherwise, it looks like the same photo each time. Yeah, I I understood. <laughs> uh, finally, um, yeah, totally get it. Um, Lena's in the house. Hello there. Right. What we're going to do, this is not the best blended in the world, but if I'm careful, it might still work. So we're going to work on adding these darker bits. What's my least stabby needle? This one. We're going to work on adding the darker bits and then I will dive back into the chat. Look, I'm going to... Apologies. Like, yep, there's the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> right if i move this back a bit because there's nothing worse than just seeing oh it is stabby uh, that. oh that's it we've got going there's nothing worse than when you're watching an artist and all you can see is like the top of their head and the note <laughs> sorry i'm a big kid um yeah okay so we're just doing the big bits not the lines yet i can see Ooh. Oh yeah, I could have done with an even finer needle, I think. That's yep, yeah, that's not my fine Pam, you were dummy. Right, so this is my finer twist needle. Any with any fabric it takes a minute to get used to it. And this is just the background shading. that's that little bit I think <laughs> this is cool this is a felting by numbers and I love that uh, compliments them um, before I get told off remember and lift up when you're felting <laughs> I know I'll get told off yeah compliments to the artist this is absolutely beautiful um I I think it's a lovely thing to have a little collab with an artist like this to to make such a beautiful piece of artwork and then I know that the artist will probably feel like dead excited seeing her work come to life like this um, through everybody but it gives it gives such a beautiful project to work on as well love 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 it great choice <laughs> just like hopefully I don't mess it up Uh, that's that's that bit so we've got it outside lift it up move it up uh, we've got this little bit obviously you can spend a whole lot longer felting down these bits a bit better but this is just background so I'm getting them on and then we'll work on better detail in a little bit and sorry for the felty noises for everyone who's bothered by felty noises. Well, if you're bothered by felty noises, what are you doing here? Uh, that's that bit. We've got this bit here. The first steps are in place. This is so cool. This would be fun projects as well to get prints like this. You could just do little... Um, pick out little areas to felt. Like if it was an animal, you could do the eyes or you know just some some cool details that would be lovely 
So um, yeah, girls, more more 2D felting kits. Absolutely, I think these are great fun. Something actually I thought about ages ago was making 2D felting kits, um, but I never got around to it. But this is lovely, and it's printed so nicely too. Um, sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't sound surprised, but it totally is. It's lovely. And then there's a couple of bits down in the corner, and then I'm done with the dark bits. Exciting! <laughs> and then I can get back into the chat because I'll be blending again. This is kind of cool. You've planned it out nicely, so I can I can felt a bit and then chat a bit and then felt a bit. Works perfectly. And there's one final bit, which is just here. And the fibres were a little bit darker. I'm not very good at in a hurry blending evenly, but I think that's going to give it a nice bit of character. That's my coming plan, and I'm sticking to it. Right, I will. Should we? I don't think this is going to work. No, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, but that is literally just hitting the. For everything's too stabby, I just have to use my favourite needle. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to remember what gauge this is. I think this is a 38, but that it's working quite nicely. And I have a whole pack of them if I blunt it anyway. Okay, stage one is in place. We need a little black with some green to make a dark green awesomeness. Uh, it's about the same kind of amount, roughly. And I had plenty left over, so... Okay, let's get doing this. Um, uh, yeah, Sophie's saying for the makers as well, same with, with them for sales. Uh, roughly the same was crazy but settling down yeah i think so many people dived into getting kits and everything so you were totally in in the right place for that but as times go on things have to settle down to a kind of new normal but hopefully things will still keep plodding along um hopefully people will still want to do activities with their kids because well I know some schools in England have gone back or are talking of going back, but a lot of people kept their kids at home anyway. And schools at Scotland aren't planning to go back in general till the end of the summer. So, yeah, people have spent a lot of time with their kids, so they probably need crafts and things to do with them. So that's awesome. And of still, people are going to be... As things open up, it, I just think of it as like a, a a shy rescue animal stepping into the light for the first time. Some people are just going to go out and go crazy, but half of the rest of us are kind of going to be a bit like, well, I'm not sure, I'll just go out a little bit and run back in again. <laughs> so it's it's, it's still going to be different for, for a while. And we're not over. We're not over it yet. Nowhere's, nowhere's done yet. We just have to keep on going. So... Yes, th I think kits can still be a thing. It's just maybe <laughs> maybe they've got to finish using the ones that they bought first and then come back for more. Right, I want to blend this a little bit better because I didn't do a great job <laughs> with the pink. Um, <laughs> Sophie, love the camera setup. You could felt a mask to go on the top of your head. Comedy hats, that's awesome. And then you could like see what I could put like secret words in the top, and you could only see it when I leaned fo leaned lent forward. Yeah, but absolutely, I I wanted this camera angle for so long. I wanted to be able to show everything, and it took me forever to set it up and get it all working. But and it's not perfect when the sun comes through the window and gets in the way, as it seems to want to do um but i'm i'm super happy in the main it's it really is good to be able to do this so i can talk and you can see what i'm doing um it was 
it was definitely awkward when I was downstairs on the sofa trying to balance everything on my knee and try and show you and try and felt this this is much more civilised it's like being a grown up um uh Kath Kathy Cambridge who did the designs of fab portrait art artist she does pets and people usually it was her amazing collaborate and then Phil and her des design to see the design it was amazing to collaborate read and talk at the same time <laughs> then fill her design and see the details through her eyes oh I bet so awesome um Anita this is such a stunning kit it is it it totally is hopefully I can't mess it up um <laughs> excited to see what the makers will come up with next well I believe next month we're getting a trio of dash hounds which I'm really looking forward to because because dogs are in my wheelhouse so hopefully <laughs> hopefully that's a good but I know it'll be different from how I make dash hounds so that's really cool to learn different things um and it's it's so colorful isn't it yes um would you like more painting with wool kits yes absolutely i love painting with wool and i think that's a good this way is a super easy way for other people to get into it right so this is the first section i've got to do let's hang on let's just finish the chat felt the color come back to the chat there we go this is like i'm organized um and Anita's saying absolutely so nice to have something to hang up or frame and gift and the colours are stunning I so agree uh, Canvas here in the US they're desperate to open everything and talking about making little kids wear face masks all day can you imagine trying to make a bunch of first graders forced to wear masks for 8 hours no wonder we have a massive teacher shortage here yeah I, I've felt the same my friends um, a lot of them have decided to keep their kids off school because they were starting with opening the schools for the youngest kids as well um which is crazy like you can explain to a 16 year old they might not listen to you but you can explain to a 16 year old but i feel the little ones they've spent nearly two months parents have been uh, the nicest possible way but trying to freak out the little ones to why they can't see their friends why they can't just run up to people in the street and everything so the little ones have kind of been a bit sort of freaked out or already and now they're saying now you've got to go to school but oh and some of the things like I, I don't have kids but that didn't sound good to me anyway is um the teachers aren't allowed to touch them at all so if the kid falls over this is like the tiniest of kids if they fall over and hurt themselves the teacher has to talk them through how to wash and dress the wound you just like, what crazy world are we in i know what crazy world we're in but i think if it's if it's that bad then we really just shouldn't be having the kids at school if you can't do the basic care for them that sounds horrific anyway cheerful cheerful chat am i <laughs> um, okay that's the first bit of green and we've got a little bit under here so exciting i'm sitting here in my head i'm going please don't mess it up please don't mess it up i mean it's pretty straightforward but you can make them gooder or better or badder depending on your skill level and also how much you're paying attention which with me isn't as much as it should be um and then we've got this little v bit cool so a little lump in the top there checking the camera to see how much of my head you can see this is weird <laughs> But yeah, for anyone wanting to copy camera angles, that camera up there is um, attached by a octopusy tripod that's hanging on to the underside of what's up there is a loft bed. <laughs> so that's how my clever, there's nothing fancy equipment there. It's just a camera hanging for dear life from the top, from the bottom of a loft bed. <laughs> looks fancy though looks like I know what I'm doing actually I think I'm quite loving how terribly I've done my blend of colours because um, it's given quite a lot of character 
and hopefully when I put the real colours in, like, that's really going to pop against each other. Um, <laughs> your picture might start to look a bit messy as you fill in these bits. Absolutely. <laughs> but that's the, the joy of needle felting, <laughs> is that it does tend to go through some horrible stages. Oh, I might not have made enough of this. And this, it's showing, it's kind of like blending out a bit. So I'm felting a kind of harsh edge to the edge and letting it wisp in. Are those even words I'm using anymore? But I, you kind of people know what I'm saying. <laughs> but just letting that blend a little bit. Ooh, let's get a bit that's actually got dark on it. And I'm really having to concentrate on not stabbing myself. And I know like 90% of the people watching this will be like, this is this is a fab one, this is a safe one where Pam's not going to stab her hands. But I'm actually more likely to injure myself on this because this is not how I usually work. So everybody have 999 just on standby, just in case. <laughs> just in case I do a really good stab on myself because this is the danger for me is I could not be paying attention and not not remember where my fingers are in the world whereas it's different when I'm when I'm holding it in my hand there's no way there's no way you can't really do this sitting down at a table properly so I have to be all grown up <laughs> yeah just want to make sure the directions do say to make sure you go right up to the edge because it'll start to pull away if you don't the, the felt will shrink although I can always fill in gaps if I mess up as well Ooh, a last bit of green to go in and then I can see what you've all been chatting about <laughs> I'm just so excited to get onto the butterfly that is so stunning but I think we've got to got to behave and do this bit first right that's the green in I'm just going to quickly felt each bit down a little bit more <laughs> and putting the wool on you get a bit of a texture but the more you felt it does felt down and sort of start to become part of the fabric which really does give it a charm that you can only get with needle felting it's a totally different art form I love the 2D felted pictures some are just utterly gorgeous felty 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 get this all down and yeah the, the little clover the 7 or an 8 needle one is really good for if you it's, it's like a safety felter it's like a stamp so little ones don't hurt themselves so you could get little ones involved in a kit like this if you had the safety needles and kept a very good eye on them but yeah i can see this could be like quite quite relaxing if you're not talking to camera <laughs> but quite relaxing just to sit and like a painting by numbers have the have the stuff appear in front of you I'm nervous now. I'm nearly finished doing this and then it's the bit to come back. Um, yeah, there's a bit more blending to go and then I check the chat to find out from the girls if I've, if I've been making mistakes. But I, I think so far, I think so far we're right. So that's, that's good. <laughs> and I'll just, each time I put a bit on, just kind of felt over everything to make sure it's all a little bit more in there place but see step two um the leaves are green with a little green yellow mix in the center okay so there's a little i see yeah so i want to need to save about a third of the yellow for the butter the tops of the butterfly's wings um 
Okay, right, hang on. I have to read this for a minute, guys, to actually make a talking. And so the leaves are green with a green-yellow mix in the centre. Yep, gotcha. And a green-pink mix at some of the tips. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. And saved some of that. Fill in the leaves with the green, starting with those that appear underneath the top leaves. These are mainly around the edges. Right, I think I've got you. Um, right, right, right. So it's going to be the underneath leaves. Right, yes, silly me. Yes, so these... This is the top leaf. So we want to cover in the underneath ones. I think <laughs> I think I get it. Um, yes, so we're starting with green, mainly, probably. Yes, this is where I've got to be artistic. <laughs> well, what I'll do while I'm talking, I'll, I'll blend some yellow and green so they kind of blend together, which is the bit I was saving. There we go. Blend some of that. So I've got a blend, and I can see that's towards the centre of the leaves. So I'll make the outside and come in. Oh, did I miss? I missed a green bit. We'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that. Where did I put my green? We'll do that. Then we'll blend and chat. <laughs> you, you can literally see my brain cells whirring there to go like, what? What are we doing here? <laughs> So I think I'm starting to understand what's <laughs> what this is to look like. That's cool. Right. So let's mix up my center blend. Um, Sophie, the camera angle works so well. It's the artist I view. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I tried so long to get cameras to go over my shoulder. I've some of my videos. I've had the sort of the camera sitting down here, and I was felting around it. So this is so much better. The only thing I haven't been able to figure out how to do is to get to zoom in this camera and sort it out so it's slightly blurry, but it's good enough. Um, oh, Steffi just posted on Facebook. Thank you so much. I'd love to share earlier, but they just pop up as you're about to start. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Sorry, I, I do plan to plan them and let everybody know and promote them and stuff. But oh, Sundays, I, I'm just not very good at Sundays, and I kind of, I set up the stream and then I go and kind of have a nap, <laughs> so I always forget. <laughs> but it's cool. Um, We've got a nice chat going on. Uh, we've got about 20 people watching. That's pretty good. Um, and Anita, yeah, saw the link. So Anita came because of Steffi's link. So thank you so much. Uh, Canvas and Chroma. Most adults can't seem to be able to deal with wearing a mask for 10 minutes in a store. Yeah, absolutely. I think they're starting to talk about making that a legal requirement now. But certainly around here, I... As I said, said before, I potentially got sick immediately that lockdown happened. So I was in my house for about two weeks um, without seeing what was going on. And I expected like people practically coming to the supermarket in hazmat gear or something. And so I got out there and I had like a face mask balaclava on and gloves and stuff. And I was trying to be sensible. And not a soul was wearing anything. Now, I would say maybe... 10% of the people in the supermarket wear face masks, even less wear gloves and things. But thankfully, our numbers still aren't doing too badly, although we'll see what this weekend brings. <laughs> A canvas, yeah, we expect so much of children, way more than we expect of adults. Um, Lena, wow, it's going to look gorgeous. I think so. Well, I, it already looks gorgeous. All that, all that I can do is make it look worse. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> um, um, oh, Steffi, 
these that I didn't I didn't know these rules. Children under eleven, disabled and people with breathing difficulty, that makes sense. Don't need to wear face masks in UK, but everybody else it's law now on public transport, doctor surgeries and in hospitals. <laughs> Sophie, it's looking great, Pam. Multitasking well. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> right, so I want to do the underneath leaves first. Cool, cool, cool. So I'll sort of start to do the outside and then layer up some of the lighter yellow on. I think I think that's it, yes. We'll find out. If it's not, that's how mine's going to be. <laughs> so I'm doing the edge here and leaving a bit for the pinks to go on to. Creak, 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 creak. And I should be thinking about the way that I leave, that I lay these down as well. I have been told, I did read, <laughs> I did read the instructions and then I forget to follow the instructions. So, <laughs> hitting scissors as I do, ah, keeps hitting things. Right, shush, go away you stop. And then try and blend a little bit of yellow to go... Where did you come from? Surprise fibres. Blend a little yellow into the centre. Or blend a little of the yellow mix, rather. It's not quite yellow, was it? So I'm pulling this out so the fibres are sort of in a kind of direction and laying them down so it'll hopefully sort of blend in with itself. We'll see, I'm going to felt this in a little bit firmer until the ladies pop into chat and go, Pam, no, you're getting it all wrong. <laughs> but there's no wrong, is there? Hopefully. Yep, I'm going to go off piste a little bit but because this is going to be the underneath I'm just going to give a tiny little bit of shading here because that leaf's above that leaf does that show up on the camera it will do it'll show up there so we've got lighter in the middle normal brown throughout and then some darker spots. And I'm just going to felt this in a little bit and incorporate it, incorporate it a bit with the purple. Eee. Right, this is a behind leaf. Again, yep, we've got a pop this in. So I'll do all the behind leaves and then I'll come back and check the chat and then we'll do the in front the in front leaves. Is that even English? Who knows? <laughs> And I'm trying to leave gaps for where this purple's gonna go, but I'll just make up where that where that purple goes. <laughs> because I've kind of already lost it. But I love the colours, so we knew I would. But <laughs> the purples and greens here and then all the butterfly colours are super lovely. A little bit darker for some shading. There we go. Um, this is behind as well. Yep, all of that's behind. So, oh, 
it goes very yellowy there so I won't in fact even more off piste I'm going to bung in some some actual just yellow there and then some of the yellow blend and a little bit more yellow blend here when I say yellow blend I don't mean very blended but it blends a little as you felt as well when you're doing these kind of things and a little bit of shading that nobody asked for but I like to add shading <laughs> again something a, a super interesting project that I would not have made if it weren't <laughs> if it weren't for this and it's going to be something really a different method than I would normally do as well. All good. <laughs> and we'll see how far... I don't want to rush this too much because it's such a beautiful project. So we'll see how far we get. We might just do the background and then ooh, <laughs> leave the butterfly for everyone to catch up with because... Yeah, we are super. We have, we have a long way to go, and I want to make this background as nice as I can. Uh, this is a below leaf. So I think, yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Or, no, are these more below, or are they above? Look at the picture. Um, this is below, and they're on top, I think. I think I've got it right. <laughs> uh, so we'll do these ones first. And again, they'll be a bit darker here because it's below and it's below the butterfly wing as well. So let's darken that up slightly bit more. <laughs> this is cool or I hope it's cool I hope it ends up being cool <laughs> I'm having fun with it anyway um, the shady bits I've got a real nice bit of yellow there so I'll fan it out there we go felt that in bit of dimension okay is there any other below leaf I think that's all the below leaf so I'll felt these in a bit chat to you guys <laughs> uh, just neaten this up and then we'll go and do the above leaves as well um, <laughs> oh Steffi just noticed the colours in the background my my colourful wall <laughs> are pretty much the same as in the butterfly. Great coordination. <laughs> I'm such a colour spotter. They are indeed. <laughs> That's it. I had this planned all along, like three years ago when I bought that background backdrop. <laughs> I totally had this in mind, but they really do. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> well, it's because they're awesome colours, I guess. Um... Oh, I'm trying to think if there's a way I can hang this once I'm done with it that won't actually damage the wall. There must be. Or I could, oh, I could put it up at the side. You can't even see that just now. Yes, I can put pictures up at the side. And, even better for all you YouTube people as well, they'll help the soundproofing. <laughs> Genius! I'm going to decorate my studio with maker's things, <laughs> um, pretty much. Um, and Sophie saying it's the perfect colour match yeah see it's the perfect you, you made this kit just thinking of me didn't you <laughs> um, how big is this work going to be will it be framed could it be a pillow top coming late and ignorant of course um, I think it could be like a cushion cover pillow cover type thing if you felt it in firmly enough I mean it probably wouldn't well, it's, it's felt. You could even possibly, um, depending on 
up what this is like but you could wet felt it afterwards or you could do all the back you know do everything wet felt it and then go over it and give it more detail and stuff and if it was wet felted just makes it a woolen felt fabric so yeah you could totally do that and then that would make a lovely thing um oh good and sophie's got the sizes <laughs> um erica hello there yeah um sophie's saying it's 28 by 35 centimeters it's there's a nice size just bigger than a4 but it is a good size um it can be framed it really finishes them off especially if you find a frame with a bit of depth to it and it could be turned into a cushion yes um the other thing i've done some felted pieces that it does finish them off um framing them but if you get if you make sure that all the fibers go like fully to the edge and stuff sometimes i like them just as a kind of what am i trying to say? I don't want to say tribal but as, as a sort of just a wall hanging um you know you could just hang it literally and they they look rustic there's the word why tribal and rustic not even similar at all but yeah <laughs> so yeah they, they totally make really good like a wall hanging let's start adding other bits in um so yeah that could be a fun thing to do as well just leave them as is but yeah framing the, i mean i've seen what some of the some of the people in the group have done with this so far and it is absolutely stunning yellow yellow um so so i think framing it it would make a fantastic gift they are absolutely beautiful that's, I've, I've not made mine yet so mine might not be absolutely beautiful but everybody else's are and by the sounds of things we're not going to see mine till next week because i really want to not rush through this so we'll do the background which should give us an idea of how it's going and then we'll jump into the foreground right here or regular green and we'll let them blend together even no the actual yellowy mix that I made put a little bit of that into the center all the shading <laughs> but it is super cute I just hope when I'm done you'll be able to see that these are actually leaves and it doesn't look doesn't go too abstract for me to leave that little bit of a gap so that I'll be able to see where I'm putting the purple in. I'm not flying blind. Well, that's funny isn't it? Yeah where I've mixed it with black it does look quite purple. It looks even darker on the screen than in real life but it's very pink in real life. They are contrast lovely. Cool cool cool. Okay so this bit again don't need to worry too much about a gap because they're quite different colours so that's handy it does show up tuck up his wing a little bit and although the underside of his wing would be given shadow that is a very bright yellow so I won't shade that but I'll make it yellow So let's make it mix. Oh good. There's a little pinch of yellow there. So today we will hopefully do all of the green and then all of the pink. And then we'll just have a, a negative space butterfly waiting to be finished next week. So who's got this kit? Who's made the kit? What have you done with the kit? <laughs> I don't I don't even have to ask if you're happy with it because I know you totally will be because it's gorgeous. Um but yeah, who's who's made it so far and who's thinking of making it? Um I love the colors that come with this. You know, sometimes I would say just use what you've got lying about the house if you haven't got the bits for the kit, but totally I would say with this 
definitely it's worth getting the kit because just all buying all of these colours separately would add up to quite a bit anyway. So it's unlikely that you're going to have an absolute metric ton of all these random colours in the house. So yeah, totally, totally buy this kit. Not sponsored. <laughs> So this seems to have a lot more purple so I'm blending the green in a lot blending the green in a lot more yes that does make sense so it's more wispy bits coming so the purple will mix with that and hopefully look nice and wispy I hope <laughs> I hope it's gonna look good I think it's gonna look good the colors are so nice I hopefully couldn't mess it up hopefully <laughs> But yeah, I love this. There's enough directions to get you going and then you have to sit and think about, you know, making it yours a wee bit, just thinking about what you're doing with each bit. So that's cool. And yes, you could just ignore all the directions and just go painting by numbers, but I totally like how they're, they're helping with direction because it's so easy to look at one of these and go, where do I start? What do I do? Tiny bit more green in there. And I'm just gonna. Well, I suppose uh, when I make the butterfly as well, I'll be able to use the black to make this a harsher edge, so it's a nice neat edge. Whereas these bits can be a little more flowy in because they're in the background, so they're slightly blurred. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Getting there with the leads, definitely. So, these are fading in the way. So, darker green to the outside, yellow to the middle, and then some pink. I do love this putting the pink on as the, the veins of the leaves, or whatever you call it. because that's not what you would see in nature. Probably, I don't know. Right, guys, let me know. Is there a flower that has green leaves with sort of red, pinky looking vein bits? Because that would be cool if there is. And later through the center. And all the blends will work a little bit better as I work on felting these down some more. This is just really super quickly tacking them in. It's so cute though. <laughs> and it's good because I've got the butterfly already sitting here. You know, he's going to be watching till the end. So even if I mess up the background, he's still going to be looking good. I don't think I'm going to mess it up. It's so nice with such a good blend of colours that hopefully I can't mess. Don't, 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 don't say these things. Right, so in the chat, let me know what you've been getting up to this week. I will get back to the chat in a minute. Um, yeah, I have... The weeks seem to be going so fast, which is crazy because I work from home anyway. So there's not a huge deal of difference in my life. But I've got a few new projects on the boil, which I'm so excited about. I'll be able to tell you about them soon, I hope. Um, and then you know, some weeks there's like no inspiration at all and then other weeks it's all the inspiration all at once and I've just had some awesome ideas for some needle felting videos that I think you guys will love it's more in my wheelhouse than you know all the the clever people who do the beautiful felting needles and felting felting videos and me just doing a little bit more um dangerous out there experimental so i've had a super idea i just hope i'm going to be able to film it without ending up in hospital or anything um <laughs> but super idea 
and then I've had tons of ideas for YouTube videos and I still want to do I said with a nerdy crafter following one of her clay tutorials following along as needle felting I can't decide I'm not sure the legality of trying to do it live or if I should record it as a video or I could record it with this setup without streaming it and then edit it yeah that would probably work even better might do that then um, all right oh we've just got the one big old wing so I'll put the darker bits in and then come and get the light bits and then we'll do a felty tidy uppiness <laughs> and I'll see what the chat's doing and then we just have the pink bits after that to go which are going to be fun <laughs> Oh, be super careful when you're felting with this. As I said, this is quite a, a fine, I think this is a 38 felting needle, but be careful you don't get the angles wrong because I'm feeling this is quite a stiff fabric. It's not bad to felt on at all. I've absolutely felted on worse fabrics, but watch because you might ping your needle if you don't pay attention. It's, it's quite stiff, so if you bent it, you really could damage a needle with this one for sure so be careful with that but overall it's pretty good I'm I'm enjoying using it to be honest because I've had um, one of my 2d felting painting pictures I, I did a, a I think it was the Wednesday Adams one and as I say I, I sketched the piece and then traced it and then ironed it onto the fabric I was going to use but I'm not very good at ironing and I um, ever so slightly or quite a lot really um, burnt the fabric <laughs> but it just all looked I hadn't realized and and I'd done a bit and then I got into the next bit and trying to felt into burnt fabric was horrible um, but it worked and the Wednesday Adams 2D felt painting turned out fantastic but oh boy <laughs> it, it, thankfully it was a it's a speed felting so I've just speeded up the the process and you don't see my going like oh this is horrible to felt with <laughs> that was quite a moment but the the final result is so cool I actually have to frame it and get it up because get it up in my house because I utterly love it it is it's a really just sometimes you look like you don't want to say your work's a work of art or something you just you're like oh it's, it's okay it's nice I'm like no this 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 one's good I mean to be fair it's somebody else I there's a link to to the original artist in my video so I didn't draw her um but she came out I'm super happy with it. All right, let's just colour in that bit a little bit. I want it darker. Because I think it would be if we're going from light in the middle all the way to dark here. Yep, there's a bit of shading. Um, dark, medium, light. <laughs> So we're going to blendy blendy the right stuff. Wow, I d that's gorgeous. There's a kind of almost leopard print effect along the top of the wings. wonder if I'll manage to get that kind of detail in. I don't think so, but that's a challenge for next week. I can look at all these and go, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that just now. Yeah, we've nearly got the colour in and then just the pink and the pink the pink lines and the pink shading to go. And I think as far as backgrounds go, it's gonna look pretty good. Let's put some actual yellow on top there as well. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit because this is the main leaf that you see. Right, that's all the colour on, that's all the greens on. Let's felt that in a bit and see what everyone's up to. Um, oh, 
all the chats went too far. <laughs> oh, Sophie's finishing off her sentence about making it into a cushion. Yeah, um, working it all over with the multi-tool would get it really felted and make it able to stand wear and tear. Absolutely. Um, you can needle felting can look all kind of wispy and ethereal and everything but quite often you know if you really felt it down well felt is the first textile that humans made for clothing and things the more you felt it it gets really dense and firm and can really more yellow and um, can really kind of live up to a bit of rough rough and tumble so yep absolutely so it's kind of a cool material like that. You can go right from the real kind of floaty, just wool wrapped pieces where people, as they say, just wrap and barely felt at all. Or, um, where did I put the butterfly tutorial? I can't remember. Um, did I put it there? No, that's, that's more phone stuff. Oh, I'll find it. But making the butterfly out of this stuff you know barely barely doing anything to it at all to felt in it like super firm so it becomes a textile yeah it's cool for that um <laughs> sophie maybe we should make the next one to match your colorful hair absolutely yay <laughs> make a pan felt <laughs> Um, agree about the wall hanging and have done this by suspending from a piece of bamboo boot. Yeah, that that was what I had in my head. <laughs> yes, where you get like the pieces of wood and you just there's a sort of rustic bit of art. Um, it can be like tapestries, but that it works so well with with fleece. Yes, that was exactly what I was thinking of. Thank you. Like a piece of bamboo, a piece. I mean, this is quite a small piece, but if you did it bigger, a lovely chunk of driftwood or all sorts of things you could do, and it looks awesome. Uh, Anita, when you've been trying to frame your needle felted pictures in a box frame, um, they're a bit saggy in the middle. Would it be a good idea to attach to a bit of board first with adhesive? Absolutely. Um, wouldn't do it any harm especially if they're done on a bit of bit of other fabric so just yeah a little bit of adhesive to to get it to there um also make sure you're stretch not stretching them too far but you're fixing them on nice and firmly um but yeah do whatever you want to do um whatever you've got to do to make it look decent because at the end of the day um needle felting is such a new art that nothing you do is wrong <laughs> about it just now um so yeah i think the only things to do would be to look into different types of adhesive that's maybe some homework for some of us just to see if you've made something that you've spent many hours making you want to make sure that whatever like adhesive you put on it isn't going to degrade it over time um so that would i don't know much about adhesives but i know like you get acid free ones and specialist ones so it's worth looking for something that won't do damage over time but otherwise absolutely stick it down a wee bit i'm not an expert over adhesives at all right that's a good start um no we're still still more chat finish the chat do the coloring in stop getting distracted um i need to oh we've got there staggy in the middle uh, Faith's got the kit and ready to start it this week. Awesome! It does look beautiful, doesn't it? I I know you'll be able to do it justice. I hope I'll be able to do it justice. <laughs> um, yeah, totally. <laughs> but it is gorgeous. Um, uh, Sophie's given glue advice. Awesome. Um, Copydex is latex based so it doesn't soak in as much as PVA. Awesome. I seem to remember my dad always had ho copy decks about the house and I've never heard of it since. But yeah, it's a good idea. Different types of glue, what they're going to do and stuff. Um, Sophie's saying she's looking forward to face make. Absolutely, me too. Um, it's been amazing to see them all as they get um, finished. Each person's is so different even though it's the same picture. 
that we started off with. And I've been gobsmacked seeing everybody appear in the group if you're not there. Um, the makers group is everyone's a maker or I can't remember the names of your groups but search for the makers um, and you'll find the Facebook groups and that's where everyone posts their work when they're done with these kits. It's a great community and a great way to share and it is awesome. You give people the exact same materials and the exact same directions and you get individual works of art every time. It's so cool. Um, <laughs> and Anita saying copy decks reminds me of little school. Right, what's the next bit we've got to do here? Mix a little green with the pink. Pink. To create the lines. So we could, yeah, cool, we can do some blending. Um, cool, yeah, so we're drawing the lines in with this darkened colour. Oh, that's cool, right. And what I'm going to do when I get there, I've got my got the picture so I can make sure that I'm seeing what I'm doing. I might add in a bit more blending as I go. Um, I think I might need a little bit more of this just to make sure because there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of lines there. It's cool. Um, <laughs> Faith, yeah, it never ceases to amaze me how different people's work can be. Absolutely. Uh, G Morgan asking <laughs> asking what I thought as well. Thinking to the future, are these glues going to be kind to the fabric, wool and all? I'm thinking of paper made after 1910 and its disintegration to think a great-great-great-grandchild would enjoy the work. Absolutely, yes. Um, It's definitely worth looking into because, yeah, so many people haven't thought about things and we, we do now as you're saying the stuff that happened in 1910 so we, we have had tests of a lot of the glues so I would definitely go back to older types of glues possibly the ones that have stood the test of time for things so that we know you know you know that they're gonna work basically all right um <laughs> Lily's saying experiment's great but stay safe yeah don't worry I'm not actually going to injure myself well hopefully right okay <laughs> never forgetting this right so I'm going to start I'm going to do the outline of the top leaf first because I think that's a bit easier for me to see I hope so that started here And it goes across to here. And I want a little blendy, gentle blendy bit down the leaf. And then there's a bit that comes down. Oh, there's a bit more. Because I've not blended it great, there's some bits of green coming in, so when I put it on, it just looks invisible. But first piece in place and the more I felt that in it'll become part of the piece rather than just a thing sticking up looking weird there we go first line in um, and then yeah there's a line that goes all the way <laughs> have I actually made enough right so it goes from there all the way just about there. That's cool because I did lose some of the edges when I was felting it together. I lost track a little bit. <laughs> and let's do these bits because I can tell totally see these bits nicely so and that's got a lot of shading I'm definitely wanting to add oh uh, maybe come back right tell you what I'm thinking this leaf has a lot of shading with the pink but there's the lines in as well so I'll maybe do the lines and then do the shading so the shading goes on top of the lines if that makes sense that's that's how I'm thinking it anyway 
but we'll get the get the wings in anyway. So all I'm doing, as normal, just pulling out and twisting a little bit to make a kind of thread. Even though I said I wasn't going to do shading, this bit needs tidied up. Oh, missed a bit of green. <laughs> Nobody told me. <laughs> Let's just make this dark because it's in a corner. No, yeah, that's already dark. Let's just make it normal green. <sighs> Missed a bit already. Good grief. Um, uh, Sophie's saying copied X was recommended by a framer, so hopefully good over time. Cool. Uh, the other option is to make small holes in the mount board and sew the fabric. Oh, that's a great idea too. Yeah. There we go. Great tips all the way along. Um, that's that leaf. And then this leaf needs edged. Um... Oh, Sophie, it's amazing to think your work might be enjoyed for generations, so definitely worth protecting. Yes, totally. I know, wouldn't that be lovely to think of? But it's happened to other artists, so why not us? There could be... One of these butterflies could be around in a few hundred years. That's cool to think of. And who knows? <laughs> there might even be... There might even be ways to get YouTube so people would be able to look back on the archives and see this and then see go like oh I want to go and find out what what the makers blending video was like and they'll be off and do that so there you go <laughs> hundreds of years time I doubt that computers will still work <laughs> we'll probably have lost all of that data because I believe I read once so it must be true but all the data they were gathering in the 80s when I was a kid, they were gathering together sort of data for a kind of doomsday book, you know, trying to find out everything about all the people that were living in the UK at the time. And it was a massive project. And I believe I read that actually all that data that was on the computers in the 80s is, you can't read it anymore. It's not out of date, but um, the, the format's, lost <laughs> lost to history <laughs> so that's super weird and interesting so yeah we can we can read books and scrolls and all sorts of things from hundreds of thousands of years it went well, hundreds of thousands of years ago but we can't open a computer file from 30 40 years ago Um, <laughs> Sophie saying I can choose I can choose to do the leopard print detail if you want. That ca that sounds like a challenge, doesn't it? <laughs> Nobody else was stupid enough. Try this leopard print challenge bit. Oh no, you guys did it. Yeah, you did it in your picture too. That's cool. It is gorgeous. It does make it a little bit special, but we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I've I've got next week to decide. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. Um, the sound of stabbing is great. Yeah, it's you definitely hear it a bit more because the fabric's a little bit stiffer. So if it wasn't for me talking over the top, me gabbing away, this could be a AMSR one. Right, while I'm here, that just has the line down the middle, so I can do I can do that goes right away yeah I'll just do that while I'm passing through it's getting there um, <laughs> right I've turned it upside down and I forgot where I am right this is another big leaf
you go all the way from here and then arch up. All the way. Oh, I think we've nearly done with the leaves. We've just got the veins. I don't think anyone told me if I was right with veins. We've just got the veins and then little bits of shading. Or do we turn it right way up? See if it looks right. It goes there. I think so. I think so. Oh, they've got, there's a little bit here. It's got to look like a little hunt for where the bits are supposed to be. And then just some come out there. I should actually, I've, I've been following the picture of the maker's butterfly, but I should actually be following the actual picture that we're given. <laughs> so that's that's what I'll do. <laughs> so that just gives me a little bit, I see, so it's just two lines and then a bit of shading. So we'll come to the shading after. And then there's kind of like a circle in the middle here that everything radiates out from. So we'll do that, or a little bit of that. And then, yee, cool. <laughs> getting there. And that comes from the bee circle. All the way up to there. This will take, take so much concentration. <laughs> but I love how, when I first looked at it, I thought it was just sort of abstract lines. And then I realised that it was the leaves of, the leaves, the leaves of, yeah, it was leaves, not the leaves of anything. Um, so yeah, I think that's really cool. It's like one of those paintings that each time you look at it, you see a little bit more, which is so cool. And you go to about there. Whoops. And this one's a bit thicker because it's a painting. And we can I'm, I'm not good enough to, but it would be kind of cool to keep that kind of paintery feel a little bit too. <laughs> it looks really weird now because we've just got the negative butterfly in there. Really weird, but fun. Um, and there's a couple of little extra bits coming off here. Like she did a fantastic drawing because it's detailed enough and beautiful, but at the same time, so far, feltable. So, love that. Um, there's something going on here. Oh, I get it. So it's that comes all the way through and comes out here. Gotcha. And I missed a line here. And again, I will. I will be. Well, I suppose next week when I start again, I'll be working on on just make just fine tuning this before we start on to. Um, properly. Um, okay, so this is a leaf that's going that way. That's cool. That's not enough. Yeah, because I was going to say I'll take it away and I'll work on that, but I know you guys have told me enough that you want to see the whole thing without me doing the, the magic. And here's <laughs> here's what happens when you sit for 10 hours felting it. So I will totally do it all on camera. <laughs> but it certainly it's doing something. 
Yeah, we have nearly finished with... Pu I thought this was going to take forever to do these bits, but they kind of come in quite quickly. Oh, that doesn't... that comes out from there. There we go. And curves down to the point of the leaves. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. With two little coming outy bitties. a line down here. Um, those are kind of hidden in the shading. Oops, <laughs> stuck to my needle. A line down here. Ooh. in this drawing that there was a couple of lines on that one as well that didn't that didn't show up in the felt because I know how <laughs> I know how felt works. So I think that's all the lines. Then I'm gonna take some of the pink, throw in some shading where it needs to go. Um so where it's this leaf is quite shaded. I'll just give it a little extra dimension and then we're kind of good to start felting it all into one piece. <laughs> um, have I missed something here? I kind of have. This is a leaf too. We'll make it shady. Oh yeah, that's the one that I just missed that I <laughs> that I just remembered I'd missed. Um, oh, and this one we forgot as well. Oh, like the very first one I started on. So it comes from here all the way out here. Oh, I'm doing this with pink. Well, it's cool because that bit's a bit darker. So, yeah, I'm doing it with a different, <laughs> not the blended wool this time. <laughs> And yeah, it's just putting in a bit of shading with the pink and then the background is kind of there. Which is good because the sun is just coming round into the most annoying place that I can't get it hidden. So, yee. <laughs> we get this at the right time to be able to just about stop doing this soon. Um, so once I get the shading in, I'll check the chat. We'll felt this up a bit more, firm it up. And then that will be it for this week. And that means that all of you can can get to this place. Or I know if I was felting this myself, I wouldn't stop just now. I would keep going because this is the point where it's just about to become really awesome. It's not quite there yet. It's just about to. Pink shade in there. Pink there. A little bit here. shading here and I'll probably when I've felted this a bit I'll probably come back and add more shading because what I find sometimes these colors kind of disappear into what you've just done with them but let's work on a leaf at a time see what happens and then I'll add more in as needed um, I see um, Oh, cool. Uh, Steffi's popping in. Well, Lily's got the links. Thank you so much, Lily. Um, for the Makers group, they're also on Instagram at the Makers and they run subscriber and group competitions 
on our forum and Facebook group each month. Yeah, it's the Facebook group where I see it all, and it is so cool seeing what everyone's done from the boxes and stuff. It is so much fun. Um, and all the other kit. It's not just these <laughs> these boxes. I don't know where these ladies have the time, um, but there's so much more going on. There's the f um, fairy boxes. There's coloured sweetie colours um, they also have soft dolls um, yeah I should actually read ahead and see if you're actually talking about the things that I'm mentioning here um, but loads of stuff yeah, Faith, the kits are great yep, uh, well <laughs> you, you can see exactly what's in the kits here, the only thing you don't have is the needle but I believe the first box comes with a needle, um, and after, and also you can get the multi tool from them as well. Um, but I didn't, I I didn't check that until I opened it up today, and I was like, oh yeah, could have done with that. <laughs> um, but actually, to be honest, I most of my 2D pieces I just do with a single needle because I find you have more control, like here i don't know how well it shows up on on the camera but i'm able to just sort of condense this pink line into a, a neater pink line and you know quickly sort out the edges a little bit at a time and move bits of fiber over the place which you can't quite do with the multi-tool it just flattens it's it's like using a hammer when you really want to use a little more precise tool um Yeah, Faith, everyone has their own style and level which inspires us others in the group to try new things or learn a more advanced technique. Absolutely. And I found, I, I say this every week pretty much now, but it's always a different method from what I would do, but it always works and isn't too complicated because although I've been felting for years, there's a very big difference between sitting down, f spending a few hours felting away to yourself to trying to talk to people and follow a tutorial and and felt so <laughs> the fact that I'm able to produce anything from the kits is pretty amazing because yeah it's a it's a totally different thing to to be trying to keep chatting to to people who are kind of there to be able to try and read the chat to be able to try and read the descriptions and I'm not complaining I'm just making excuses for why mine don't look as great as they should <laughs> Um, but what I'm going to do is I'll work on getting this all nice and flat. I won't do it off camera. I'll do it on camera. I'll work on getting it all nice and and flat and felted in. And then I'll be seeing what bits need extra shading, what bits the colours aren't quite right. And I've got a... Now the camera is making this look a little more muddied coloured. I think it's because it's having to deal with so many other colours. Um, but it does look awesome. But using the camera or personally stepping away from things um, really lets you see the whole piece. See it all together so you can see if something doesn't quite make sense or needs a bit of work or something. So yeah, when I'm like this, everything looks terrible. When you step away, it's like, oh, right, yeah, that's not so bad. That that all comes together a bit better. Um, yeah. Oh, Steffi, um, we'll send you a brush mat and needle tool for next Sunday so you can work faster and finish. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm saying them. Um, so I'll get a real smooth surface, surface, and I'll love it. Oh, thank you so much. That would be awesome because I think, I think, think. I know this is going to look great, and they do. It it's magical when you're felting and you've got the time to felt at them or the right equipment. <laughs> um, but when you felt at them and it all sort of felt together, it, it starts to become an actual piece rather than just kind of slightly directed fluff it, it is amazing uh, Pamela sneaking in late hello there um, Faith was asking about the brush mat and the multi-tool 
um don't know i haven't seen the brush mat yet but i'm sure the girls are letting you know in the chat um faith you're looking so looking forward to getting stuck into making this absolutely you're you're gonna love it it's it is a whole lot of fun um and hopefully you know fairly simple take the time to blend the colors properly that's something that i never do in these um but if you blend the colors and then work on getting a really nice blend of colors then it's gonna look awesome okay looks awesome <laughs> um then so the brush mat is great for any multi-tool as long as they're hard wearing uh brush mat surface is specialist for 2d felting for felting into fabric water soluble paper yep the water so if you haven't seen i did a uh, maker's butterfly oh, years ago i think before we really sort of knew each other but i was just like this is an awesome kit and it involves using the water soluble paper which uh, that was a whole heap of fun i did it slightly wrong um as i do with all of the things when i'm following a kit but it came out beautiful anyway i just did it the hard way and the water sol soluble paper is great because like it says it's paper and it's water soluble right i think i'm just going to finish the chat um and then that will do us for good grief it's been an hour and a half no wonder i'm hungry yeah so i'll finish with the chat and see where i get to with whatever this felt is and then we'll say goodbye and i did see last week <laughs> in the chat you guys pointed out because of the lag with this streaming setup how streaming works you guys say that i switch off before i say goodbye so i'm gonna have to say goodbye and then just awkwardly sit and wait for a few seconds and then switch off so i'll try and do that but yes i'm just gonna finish off the chat give you all a chance to say goodbye and everything and we'll see where we've got by then but yeah it's it's all coming together i think so and i've done because this has the the backing it's so much easier you can do it sort of delicate and some of the background colors will probably even show through which i think is kind of cool so we get a bit of the artwork there as well um diane sorry i'm late that's perfectly okay there's always a replay um but good to see you uh, butterflies looking amazing can't wait to start mine this week yeah, you're gonna have fun it's so good um sadly i can't take credit for the butterfly because that bit's not felted yet it's the background <laughs> but we'll get onto the butterfly oh it is i'm seeing from the, the top down camera it is looking like leaves and there's a bit of dimension and shading so we're getting there <laughs> um and diane saying more 2d pr please yep i think this is going to be a popular one absolutely and there's loads of different methods you can do the 2D, but I do, this printed just makes for something super easy. Um, <laughs> so, ooh, I think we've got some secret... Ooh, sun right on my nose. Um, I think we've got some secret insider info here. Sophie's plotting the next one already. A lovely picture of a landscape by the sea. Oh, lovely. It'll be a kit rather than a subscription box. Yeah, that's it. They're making kits while doing all these subscription things and the youtube videos i'm tired already <laughs> but that sounds lovely a, a painting a landscape by the sea perfect um, uh, stephanie's saying to face she likes using the perm tool uh, but sophie prefers the seven needle tool and the brush mat you've got to find what works for you absolutely that's people I, you guys must get it as well I get asked all the time it's like what gauge needle is that what do you use what do you use and it's like it really ooh, that needs a bit more added it really depends like don't just take someone's word for it buy most places do i'm sure them i'm i know the makers do yeah buy a selection of needles because needles are cheap buy a selection of needles and buy a sample pack of fiber and then just mess around with each fiber and each needle and see what actually works for you because we all have different strength of hands different amounts we want to stab into things like some people love the really stabby needles 
because um, they get more done per stab but I find I can't stab as quickly so I actually felt a whole lot less with what other people are saying this is a super thick fast way to felt I I did a science on this quite a while ago um, I think the video is called what types of needles should you use and I just bought a whole range of them and I just stuck with one fibre the the core wool I was using at the time and I took the same amount of fibre for each of them and I timed myself I think it was five minutes for each and just sat and felted that into a ball and then compared all the balls and the most felty needle actually ended up being the least felted ball because although you get more bang for each stabby buck each stab took more force so I wasn't able to felt as quickly so I was getting like you know three or four stabs with a a lighter a bigger gauge smaller sized needle um so yeah the results were totally surprising <laughs> so yeah totally practice with lots of different ones yeah, this is coming together still going to need a whole lot more work but yeah i'm not in fact if I, if I have a tool coming that's going to do this for me better needle style <laughs> but yeah i'm liking right i'm going to step back and look at the screen it definitely looks like leaves and there's a bit of shading and stuff so far so good right um we're nearly finished with the chat that bit of light's annoying <laughs> Okay, we're going to have a white patch on my nose. Um, yes, all of the products you mentioned with loads of needle felted kits, supplies, own book, doll making packs and supplies, wooden peg dolls, three types of sub boxes, this one, fairies and the surprise. <laughs> you guys work way too hard. Totally. Uh, hats off to you. That's fantastic. Right, guys. This. I think this is the, the finishing up for just now that I could sit and felt this forever but if there's a special needle coming and a special mat coming I'm going to wait for that to see the difference so now this is awkward because I've said that I won't just say goodbye and click off so that you don't see the end of it so I've got to say goodbye and sit about and be awkward so everybody have a great week my if you missed the start I've invented off the top of my head a name for us as all collective because that's a YouTuber thing apparently you're supposed to have a name for your group and I don't know why this didn't come to me before but you are now all indoctrinated not the right word you are now included in my creative clan there we go <laughs> let me know what you think of that we can do merch and everything of the creative clan but you're part of my creative clan <laughs> annoying oh just some um <laughs> okay yeah faith thank you so much and lily awesome thank you thank you too i can't wait to see how the butterfly is gonna go i think i think it's gonna be good fingers crossed right everybody have an awesome week and i will speak to you next week and i'll have some videos out as well okay bye bye awkward silence do i just stare at you do i just sit and watch <laughs> hopefully this bit will be cut <laughs>